Hi everybody, I'm Kenzie Knox and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be painting a nice little bicycle spring painting that I thought you would really enjoy. So let's go ahead and get started. So to begin off with, we'll need a few colors, including titanium white, aqua green, turquoise blue, light permanent blue, raw umber, Mars black, yellow, cad yellow medium, and sap green. So put those on your palette and we'll get started. Using our nice little misting bottle, we're gonna spritz off our canvas. Take our one inch oval mop brush, just spread that water around. It's really gonna help our paint move. Then we're gonna go ahead and dip into some titanium white with some light permanent blue and start in on our sky. Bring that down a little bit. Grab some white. Just bring that down. Maybe a little bit more light permanent blue with some white. Bring it right down there to our horizon. Okay, then rinse off your brush. Grabbing our size 14 flat brush. I'm gonna get that wet. Tap off the drips. Dip into some turquoise. And I'm just going to make a little water line going across here as straight as possible. Okay, I'm going to get some more turquoise with some white. Get some water on your brush, grab some more white, a little bit of turquoise. More turquoise and white. Grab some more white. I'm gonna grab some aqua and some white. More aqua. Grab some white with some aqua. Grab some more aqua with some white. Grab some white with some turquoise. Go ahead and rinse out your brush. Grab some white with some aqua. Grab some more white. Okay, rinse out your brush. Go ahead and grab some titanium white on the tip of your brush. And we're just gonna come under Right there, on top of your brush, grab some turquoise, come under that line. Rinse off your brush, grab more white. We'll come back to that, so don't worry too much about that. So now we're gonna rinse off our brush, taking my size 12, angular brush. I'm just using this because it has stiffer bristles so I can move paint easier. I'm going to take some titanium white with some raw umber. I'm going to paint in our sand. We got some more white, some more umber. And we're just blocking this in.
Taking my size 4 flat brush, I'm gonna get that wet, grab some white, and we're just gonna add, try to add in this wave again, which I'll probably have to go over again, grab some more white, and we're just gonna add Just some waves in there. Rinse out your brush. We're gonna add some light blue violet to our palette. Taking some of this light blue violet on the tip of our brush, we're just gonna go under. Some of these waves here. Got some more light blue violet. Try to come along the shoreline. And then under there, I'm gonna grab some raw umber with some white. With a little bit of turquoise and some aqua. And then we can just add some wet sand. Go some more of that color. And that's white raw umber, a little bit of turquoise, and aqua green. Okay, that is off your brush. Grab some more white. Hit that wave again. And then we're going to grab some light blue violet and add our shadow under the wave again. Rinse off your brush. And now we're going to start in with some grasses over here, some grasses over here. And I think we'll have like a little pathway right through here. I do want to brighten up the sand a bit, so going back to my size 12 angular brush, I'm going to just grab some titanium white, wet my brush a little bit, and just lighten this up a little. Then you can rinse off the brush. I'm going to, to my little size four flat brush. I'm going to take some titanium white, a little bit of raw umber, some sap green, and some yellow. Mix that up on a very pale, pale. green shade. Okay, so this is going to come over here. Basically, basically form a path that should come out to here, about here. And then we'll have some over here. Okay, 
Okay, so now I would like to take some green, a little bit of raw umber, with some yellow, maybe a little bit of turquoise in there, just to cool it down a bit. Some more green, yellow. I'm just gonna paint this in a little bit right here. A little bit of like that. It's gonna be more shadowed over here. Rinse out your brush, take a little bit more titanium white. And we're just gonna pull that through here. Some more white. Get some water on your brush. Grab some more white. Grab some more water on your brush. Rinse off your brush. Go ahead and add some light green permanent, some olive green, and some light olive green to your palette. Go ahead and grab your size 2 flat brush, or any small flat brush will do, and we're going to go ahead and dip into our light green permanent. I'm going to start up from here and just bring some grasses up. Of course, you can always use your liner brush and have it run the course. So I'm just going to put some of these in and then when we get to the finer details, we will use a liner brush. But for now, we're just throwing these in. You can even grab some sap green. Instead of making these individual marks, we're going to switch over to our size 10 rake brush. Dip into your green, just pull. And then grab your sap green. Don't forget that there's grasses behind these as well. Okay. And grab a little bit of the olive green. Rinse off your brush a little bit. Grab some titanium white. A little bit of raw umber. A little bit of yellow. Okay. Then we're going to go to this side. I'm going to start with olive green. Put on some around here. And pull some over this way. And rinse off the brush. Grab some sap green. A little bit of yellow in there. Grab some more sap green. Rinse off your brush. Then I grab a little bit of yellow. Put that in a little bit. Rinse it off a little. Go back into some titanium white. A little bit of your olive green, a little bit of yellow. Take this color and also come over here. And soft your brush. Take some sap green. It's 
some more sap green. A little more sap green. Okay, let me take a little of this light green permanent. Come over here, rinse that off. Grab your light olive green. Pull that in. Our light olive green. Down in here. Okay, and then take some light olive green. Okay, rinse off your brush. I'm actually gonna fix this away first. So going back to my size two flat brush, I'm gonna take some titanium white. Let's go over that a little bit. You can also take some titanium white. And tap it over. If you want to create some waves. And we're going to do our little bicycle. So first we're going to start with the wheels. So taking some black. And you can sketch this out with some chalk if you'd like first. Um, sometimes I like to use chalk. Sometimes I don't. But I think I'm just going to start in with the wheel. Which is going to sit back here. So this wheel is going to be a circle that goes up from here down and around like that and then the second wheel so the bike is going facing this way with its head turned this way so we're going to do a big wheel that goes from up here and it's going to curve this way It's going to get very thin. Like that. So I'm going to take some raw umber. Some titanium white. And we're going to have the center of the wheel right here. It's going to come straight across. And there's going to be Pull straight up, and then this is going to come down from here, like that, and then the bike seat is going to go back here, and then these are going to go back to the bike, back to the bike spoke, and then they'll have another one behind it going down this way and then the bike seat will be right here which is going to go a little way right there I'll come around like this and then over here we're going to have let's come down like this Ooh, sorry I jumped ahead this one right here, and then this has a little peg thing right here, and they're going to be something that comes around like this, comes down, and we won't see that one, but we will see this guy come down Oop, to this, hold on, sorry, this comes down and to right about here like that and this is where our pedals will be so we're going to have a little pedal right here and then we'll have a little gear come down here the pedal down here We'll have a little gear around here, 
around here and then we'll have our bike spokes coming out like this and then we'll have this covered that'll be covered okay so go ahead and sort your brush oh and i forgot the handle wheel or the handlebars <laughs> so the handlebars are going to come up like this so it's going to go diagonal and then out a little peg bar hand and this one's basically going to be covered but it would go like this and then there's going to be a basket it's going to sit like this and down this way and then up so that'll be our little basket of flowers grab our yellows. I'm going to take titanium white with a little bit of that medium yellow. Mix that together. And then we'll just go over this mostly. Okay, I'm going back to black. I'm going to do a wheel. But you might need some more water in your paint if it's not flowing easily. Grab some more black. Our petal is black. And this little gear thing is black. This petal is black. This little thing is black. And then our seat is black. Have some titanium white, some black that's left over on your brush. And this one, we're going to have a little bar right here. And then these are going to come up this way, this way, this one's going to bend this way, like that. This looks like it goes almost to the tire.
to rinse that off. Go ahead and add some burnt sienna to your palette. Grab some titanium white with some burnt sienna. Grab some more burnt sienna. Grab some white. Rinse off your brush. It's going to take some burnt sienna. Grab some more black on the tip of your brush. This will be covered by flowers, so don't worry too much about that. But grab some more of that yellow and white. We need to come over on this side of the bike. Okay, grab some more titanium white, some yellow. Go ahead and rinse off your brush. Grab a little more black into that gray. It's gonna create a little nub thing here as I go through. Okay, and then we're just gonna go a little bit on top of the bike over here and a little bit on the wheel over here. Over here, up here, and then we're going to create a little wheel cover. So, taking some white, we're going to go above the tire like this, and then it's going to be narrow. Okay, rinse out your brush. I'm gonna grab some more white. And we're gonna go along the inside of the wheel. And this is gonna get fatter over here. And thinner over here. Over here, we'll just see it right over here. Rinse out your brush. Grab some more black. Rinse off your brush. We gotta add a little bit of these gray little gear things over here. Rinse off your brush. Grab some more white. With just a little bit of yellow. Add a little highlight to our bike. So you add a highlight right up here. A little highlight over here. Some right here. And over here, and on here. A 
stuff over here. Grab your brush. Grab some titanium white. And go along the top of this little rail thing here. Little on the bike handle there. Take that white. We can add a little wheel cover over here too. Grab some more white. I've gone ahead and added orange to my palette and I'm gonna take some of that orange and come under here. This bike will be orange. A little orange with some yellow highlights. Some more orange. Inside your brush, grab some yellow with some orange and a little bit of titanium white. Grab some more yellow in there. We're just going to highlight these areas again. Inside your brush. Grab some more white. off your brush, grab some more white, just a little bit of white. I'm just going to add it to the seat area. Let's make it look flat here. Looks like there's a hump there and a hump over here. Let's off your brush, get some more white. So now we're going to create a shadow under the bike. So we're going to take some raw umber, some titanium white, and some light blue violet. And we're going to create a light shadowy color. Um, it shouldn't be too dark, but not too light. I'm going to create this darker shade right here and then add a little bit more titanium white to it to make it a little bit lighter. So we can have like two shades of a shadow, I guess. So 
I'm just gonna come under the bug here. And then under here, I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit and then come around like this, come out like this, come down this way, have some things out here, grab a little darker color here. here and then over here basket it's going to be shadowed on the tire over here Of that darker shade. Pull that in a little bit. Grab that darker shade again. Come back out this way. So rinse off your brush. Now we're going to start on the flower bed in our basket. So grabbing some sap green. I'm just going to put some sap green over here. A little bit out here. Maybe some wisps out there. And this bunch will probably go out here a little bit. Some stuff out here. Grab your light green olive, light olive green. So this in here. Okay, rinse off your brush. I've gone ahead and added some additional colors to my palette. So I'm starting with titanium white, deep crimson hue, scarlet red, cadmium orange, cadmium mid yellow, rouge, brilliant yellow green, lime green, and light sap green. So add those colors to your palette. Back to my size two flat brush. You can use a velvet brush, whatever brush you're comfortable with. I'm gonna start out with some white. And I'm just gonna plant a little flower right here, an indication of a flower. I'm gonna grab some yellow with some white. I'm just gonna do a little indication right there, maybe one right here. I'm gonna grab some more yellow and some yellow up in here. White on my brush, maybe one right here and another one right in here. Maybe another one right up in here. Rinse off my brush. I'm gonna grab some white with some rouge. I'm gonna pop a nice little flower right up like that in there. Maybe another one right here. Maybe one up in here. Then another one over here. Then another one over here. And maybe another one over here. And down here. One over here. And maybe another butt over here. Rinse out my brush. I'm going to dip into my crimson deep red hue. Add a nice little flower over here. Just the outline of it like that. Something like that. Over here. Maybe one up in here that's big. And then over here. Rinse out my brush. Go back to that rouge color. Add one up in here and over here. Rinse out my brush. Grab some more rouge. Another one right there. Maybe one over here. And then maybe one more rouge one down in here. Okay, so once you've basically plotted out your flowers, rinse out your brush. I'm gonna switch brushes at this point. You can use a round brush, a filbert brush. 
whatever brush you're comfortable with. I'm going to take my size 6 filbert brush, tap into some white, grab some crimson, or a, a scarlet red. I'm going to go ahead and plant that like this over it. And then over here, just around like that. Got some more scarlet and white. Maybe the one over here, like that. And over here, just that. More white and scarlet. This little guy up in there. Okay, rinse out your brush. Go ahead and add some yellow ochre to your palette. I'm gonna dip into that yellow ochre. And I'm going to go around the bottom of this little flower here. Rinse that out. Grab some more yellow ochre. Go into the center right here, a little on the top of over here. And then the inside over here, and over here. Rinse out your brush. Grab some titanium white with a little rouge. Actually, grab some rouge. Then we're going to grab some white. Just on the tip of our brush. I'm going to grab some more scarlet. Grab a little white. Fix that a little bit. I'm gonna grab some white, some deep red, and some rouge and make this little pinky color. Close out my brush. Grab some yellow, just yellow. Pop that on. Close out my brush. I grab some light sap green. Just create a little stem for some of these. Rinse off my brush. Grab some white, some brilliant yellow green. Oops, that was a happy little accent, I guess you could say. Cover that up with some. I'll just grab some sap green and some white. Rinse off your brush. Grab some light sap green on the tip of your brush. Rinse out your brush. I think we need, grabbing some light sap green. I'm gonna put a flower coming up this way. A big flower here. Maybe a big flower coming up this way here. And just some flickers of some foliage. Grab some of your light sap green. Just plop that down here. Grab your lime green. Pop that a little up there. Grab some more lime green. Pop that up there. Let's grab some yellow ochre with some titanium white.
some of that. Grab some rouge. Some titanium white. Grab some white. Grab some yellow. Then we're gonna grab some lime green. I'm just gonna plop in some leaves here. Grab some brilliant yellow green. Grab some crim uh, scarlet red. Put one of those right here. Grab some white. Grab some rouge. A little more rouge and some white with a little bit of rouge. Grab a little bit more white. Grab some more orange. You can even add a little scarlet to it. I'm going to take a little uh, burnt sienna with some white. And a little bit of scarlet. Grab some more burnt sienna. Grab that color again. Come down here. Let's see the side of the handlebar. I forgot about that. So again, that's white, scarlet, and burnt sienna. Grab some white sap green. We can pull out some flowers coming out this way, out this way. And we can even have, grab some white. We'll just have a big flower right here. Like a big white rose. And then this one could be another white rose. And maybe we'll have another white rose right here. Come underneath it. You can add one more right here, just a little one. Give your light blue violet. Grab your sap green. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this YouTube tutorial. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe to my YouTube channel for upcoming releases. And don't forget to click that bell to let you know when I do release a new video. So until next time, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye.